hard to believe, but there are just eight days left until Thanksgiving. Yeah, you might be thinking of having, you know, a big meal, but there are actually a lot of families who struggled to get any food on the yeah. table. Mary, Mary Joola introduces us to some volunteers trying to make dinner a little easier. It was cold and brisk outside as dozens of people waited patiently to get into St. Paul Lutheran Church. Right, they're going to start right here. They're going to go here. They're going to go all the way around. Inside, food pantry manager Sue Gould and her volunteers hurried to prepare for Turkey Distribution Day. They're awesome. These are the same people that help me each and every week. Wouldn't trade them for anything. It's an organized chaos, but everything's ready. Put it right in. Thank you. You're welcome. People like Naomi Norris waited over an hour to be here. For many, the abundance of food and good spirits. <laughs> you guys know each other? We do now. You're, you're only a stranger once, OK? Are worth the wait. It's a blessing to have everything you want you know, for Thanksgiving. And the head of this operation. I have so much energy. A woman who relates to the people she serves. I've been without food. I've needed food from a pantry. I mean, that's how I all st I started to be here. She knows this is the kind of food that feeds the soul. That's part of you know just making you feel like you know, making you feel like somebody. By the end of today, the folks here at St. Paul Lutheran Church estimate they would have helped at least 300 families in the area. In Madison, Mary Jo Ola, WISC News 3. Such a generous effort. Today, the church handed out at least 300 of their 1,500 turkeys. Yeah, that's great. The remaining birds will be handed out through a number of events before Thanksgiving.